let's just look at what there is left to do then. The we did the CDs one here in the example, and I said that you also should do an add and an edit for this one, this one, and this one. And we've just done the tracks, so we're left to do the party mixing the party with the song, so we can tell it now. We can either look at each song and decide what party type, or look at each party type and decide what songs. So it doesn't really matter. I think we can look at each song. So let's do a new form using the form wizard. And let's go to the tables. So choose the songs, and we need the song ID and the title and choose the party type songs so we're going to decide what party type let's go to next and we're going to do it by we can choose that by songs and finish that let's just make the design look a little bit better again just move these along everything oops it's selected <laughs> seem to have moved everything uh, let's use control Z it will take it back to how it was and let's move this bit first control Z or control Z just undoes works like that on a lot of programs let's move this over a bit and let's make this a bit smaller and let's move this over there. Let's try that. That's better. And uh, it must be the way I entered these because this, these are around the wrong way. We can just click on that and move it and grab it and it'll swap them. And you, uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. Uh, let's move, make these a little bit. Move these up a little bit. this up a bit and just make it a bit bigger that's okay now this here follows when we th this is ready for the next record so let's imagine stairway to heaven and we've said that it's good for seniors and it's good for weddings and it's good for bachelors um, maybe it's not good for teens but maybe it's good for bachelorettes so we can just drop that down and add it and it automatically brings us a new song ID ready for the next record and you can even hide that if you don't want people changing with it if you just move these columns across you can hide it or you could even not show it in the first place if you didn't select it when we were looking at them if you didn't select it they wouldn't see it so one way though is you can just drag these columns along and hide it and then they're just saying stairway to heaven and selecting the thing here let's go to the in fact we're on five of five at the moment are we ah oh, no okay this is five of five this way we're on the first record here so the second record Hotel California we've said it's good for bachelors and seniors and we can also say it's good for Hotel California maybe it's good for weddings so we just go through then choosing which ones and it's called songs at the moment Anyway, that's just the way of adding. So we just keep adding the staying alive. Maybe it's good for weddings or something. Anyway, if you're a DJ, you, you'll get used to what's good for it's different things. That's why the reason I like to have an, an ID that means something. I don't like just having numbers here. I don't find it means so much. I do prefer actually having just a, an ID that, that means a little bit. So you might want to do that and let's 
go ahead. I'm going to just change the name of this. Just save it. So it's songs, but it's not really songs. It's let's rename it. What are we doing? We're adding a party type to the song. So I think we can say songs party types. And it's add or edit. So that's okay. That's what that is. And we've got a problem. That says songs, or it's not really. It's songs party type. So let's go into the design view. And here, songs party type. Set this on the form here. Songs party type. And that's everything there. Let's just save that and go to the switchboard manager. And in the forms, let's add that one. I just added that while I was practicing. Let's just leave that, delete that. And let's say new one. So this is uh, we're going to open a form in edit mode, and it's this one, party types, add or edit. And let's copy that and put it up there. So it's songs, party types, form, add or edit. And hopefully it's going to work now. So let's have a look. on the switchboard, click on the forms and um, need to move it up but songs party types form add or edit and this is where you add it, you edit that. let's just go to that switchboard manager and it's on the forms menu, let's move this up and close it again uh, let's just start it again Okay, so that's your main menu, and that's what you give the the person who's going to use it, or if it's yourself, you make it start up in this, and at the main menu, and then you can do what you want to do. And if it's if you've got a lot of reports, a lot of forms, then you'd probably split them some way, uh, especially if it's something like a a sales. If this is to do with your your selling buying selling business, then you probably split it up into purchases and sales and uh, maybe inventory and products and things like that. You could split it into lots of forms. And as I said earlier, the problem with Access 2002, it's only got eight buttons, whereas with 2007 you can have more. So you just got to remember that if you're using 2002. That's all for that example. And uh, for our basic examples, we'll go on to some intermediate ones.